Wow, they gave up. Why did they give up? We had not won that game. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. Just want to remind you, if you are not already, please make sure you subscribe. I actually recently looked at the analytics and there's like 65% of you or 68%, somewhere in there. A large portion of you are not subscribed when you watch and that's fine, but if you do enjoy it, please feel free. Like the videos, subscribe if you're interested. It really would mean a lot to us. We're a small time little channel here, so any and all help means a lot. Plus, if you subscribe right now, you are entered to win our Kamigawa Neon Destiny booster box on February 23rd. So just a quick heads up there, but let's chat through this deck. This is by Pierluit. I hope I'm saying that correctly, Pierluit. I don't know, on Aetherhub. Now, there is no channel associated with this that I'm aware of, and there was no video, so I can't link it down below, but I do wanna just thank the creator of the deck, make sure that we give credit where credit's due. So thank you so much for posting this on Aetherhub. It looked really interesting, so we're gonna give it a shot today. It is an Esper reanimator list. Now, the way it reanimates is with Dollhouse of Horrors, uh, which is a really cool card. We've seen this in a number of different strategies, uh, but for one mana, you can tap it, exile a creature from your graveyard, and then create a token copy of it. It gets plus one, plus one for each construct you control, and it becomes a construct. Uh, and then, of course, you can only do that as a sorcery. That costs five mana, so it is a little expensive, but We've got a lot of cards to help get us there. So we've got things like Doomscar, we've got things like Path of Peril, uh, Revitalize to give us a little bit of extra life and some card draw. Uh, Brutal Cathar, gonna help us kind of remove some stuff from the field as we continue to maybe block with it, do whatever we need to do, maybe even get in for some damage. Uh, and then the Celestis to help ramp us a little bit. Uh, we do have Faithful Mending, this is gonna allow us to draw some cards as well as discard some cards and again, gain us a little bit of life to keep us in that game uh, in the early turns until we can get to some of our big stuff. So. Uh, we do have Valkyrie Harbinger, one of my favorite angels in the game. Uh, a 4 5 flying lifelink. If you gain 4 or more life at the beginning of your end step, you throw a 4 4 white angel token onto the battlefield with flying and vigilance. That's just good value. Uh, very, very good value. Uh, we've got Burning Rune Demon, of course, as a full 4. This is going to help us get to other things, which is nice. Uh, we have Xanathar as a 2 of one of my favorite Demir cards that we've seen in recent years. Very, very cool because it allows us to steal stuff from the opponent. Uh, so essentially we can start playing their deck a little bit and also kind of keep them off of good draws. So if we play through and we know that they've got a land on the top of their deck and maybe no cards in hand at that point, it's pretty easy to just leave the land on top of the deck and then let them kind of run with that. Uh, so it actually works pretty well. Toxroll de dealing with a lot of the opposing creatures uh, and then hopefully as well, um, whenever a creature you don't control with a slime counter on it token, slime counter token on it dies, you actually get a little slug as well. So really nice to kind of spread the board out over some time. Uh, the one thing I will say, um, and I'll double check here. Yeah, this has 24 lands. That's not a lot of lands for a deck like this. Uh, now that's okay, we're gonna run it as is uh, because we do have the Celestis, which is gonna help us. And we of course have the draw spells here, which should help us get to some lands. But in testing, that seemed to be kind of a problem for us. So we'll do the best we can. We're gonna make uh, make some, some fun shenanigans happen, hopefully. It's a bit of a jank deck, but it's gonna be a fun one. I hope you guys enjoy it. And again, thank you so much to the deck creator. Sharing this on Aether Hub is uh, an absolute uh, pleasure to see some of this kind of stuff. It's really fun. So let's jump in, guys. Let's have some fun with this deck and see if we can get some wins. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. We have got plenty of lands as well as a revitalize here. So I'm actually gonna try and keep this. Now, these two cards obviously aren't getting played anytime soon, uh, which is a little unfortunate, but hopefully we can get somewhere. I honestly, I think the land thing is the biggest thing that I'd be worried about. Ooh, that's quite good. Uh, and so I'm really just happy not to have to necessarily worry about that so much this game. Excuse me, by the way, I just had some very, very quick lunch so I could get, uh, oh, interesting, uh, get some, uh, some food in me before we recorded. I think I actually just throw these two back. Uh, that's kind of fine. Actually, really fine. Uh, okay, so 
Let's go ahead and revitalize first. Let's see what we get. Okay, uh, that's actually quite good. I am gonna throw the blue source out here. Now we've got all colors of mana that we could possibly need. We do need double white for the Doomscar. I understand, but I would like to be able to play basically anything here, so I think that that's probably just the right play. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's see what happens. I know we're playing on our own turn where we don't really need to, uh, but I think it's kind of okay. Uh, and then I'll just throw this uh, white black source out. That's gonna give us that double white, of course, and hopefully, curious to see what the opponent ends up playing here, uh, to be honest. Sure. Annoying for sure, but not the end of the world. We've gained a little bit of life. We have more to gain here. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, they do exile the Faithful Mending, which is a little annoying, but again, not the end of the world. Uh, I guess we go here. Um, hmm. Not much else to do, really. I mean, we can throw the Brutal Cathar out, but I don't really think that's the right play. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong, but we'll see. We'll have some fun either way. Uh, I think we toss the Brutal Cathar here, and I guess just the land, like the plains, because this is uh, more flexible, obviously. There's the dollhouse. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, let's throw the dollhouse out there. We do get a one initial uh, hit off of this, which is fantastic. Uh, the question is, what do we want? Uh, hmm. I want all of it. Uh, I really want all of it. I think we just take the slug, though. Just seems like the best option. Um, it is just a 1-1, as we know, uh, but that's kind of okay. Okay. Uh, annoying. Very annoying, certainly. Uh, and I fully expect they'll have more of those, but that doesn't seem that bad. Uh, okay. That's very frustrating. Uh, we lose three life. We're not going to do anything about that. This Doomscar is turning out not to be very helpful, um, and I do assume that they're running Poison the Cup or whatever it is, um, in their deck. So let's do this to try and steal some stuff here. Um, you have your upkeep. Choose a target. Ugh, it does mean the upkeep. Okay. We'll attack in. Um, and we'll pass. Hopefully it sticks around. Chances are it won't. I mean, there's very few options for this sticking around here, given they're uh, foretelling a couple cards and they've got this out. Uh, we are going to take the three, though, and force them to use the removal spell. I think if we don't, we're just going to continue running into this problem until it, it happens anyway. So, sure. We knew it was coming. That's okay. Um... All right, this time, let's be smart about this. Let's get the Burning Rune Demon. This allows us to do a little bit more, so let's take the action. Uh, hmm, what do we want? All of this. <laughs> uh, I think you and you. And we'll see what they decide to throw into our hand here. Uh, they do have three mana available, so I'm kind of curious to see what they end up going with here. Okay. Uh, and then we just throw this out there. Get an attack in with the demon. It's not a big attack, obviously, but it's something. Um, Turgid Shadow. Oh. Oh, that's very annoying. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to discard a card. I'm kind of okay with discarding cards, so that's not that big of a deal to me. That's good. Uh, okay. Okay. So, let's activate one of these. Um, let's get you. Now again, they're probably just gonna have another shadow here, uh, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, I actually think, funny enough, it's this, because we want them to play that shadow as quickly as they can. Um, all right, yep, there it is. Cool, so we played them a little bit and that they only killed a Brutal Cathar along with a Valkyrie for sure, but we still have the Xanathar available to us, uh, which is really important. We're gonna lose the three. I assume they're just gonna activate this as many times as they can. No, they're gonna attack. Okay. That exiles a card from the graveyard, so that makes sense. Uh, truth be told, I'm surprised they haven't done that this whole time. Uh, that would have 
really kept us off of our game plan here, but that's fine. All right, we have to hope we don't die. Good, they just had a land. Oh, perfect. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's get Burning Rune Demon down here. Uh, absolutely gonna take that action. Let's go for, what do we need? Might just be this. We do need to gain some life here. Um, I'll just pick these two. It really doesn't matter too much because chances are we're just gonna get the revitalize here. But the idea here is we just need to gain some life uh, as best we can. And then I think we take the Xanathar now. It's gonna get him for one. Now we just have to fade some good stuff. Um, don't know if that's possible or not. Sacrifice a non-land permanent. I am going to sacrifice one of these now. Uh, we're less and less going to be reliant on them, uh, and so I'm not as worried. These do have... Uh... Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Discard, I suppose. We lose the Revitalize, but they can only attack with one of these. Wow, they're just going to continuously do this. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm going to do this. That may not be correct, but we're going to try it. Okay. Wow, they gave up. Why did they give up? We had not won that game. All right, we ranked up. We did it. Wow, I am amazed right now. Let's move on to game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and this isn't a super exciting hand, but I think it's one we can try and keep. We've got the Path of Peril with the mana to cast it, as well as all three colors. So I feel like, you know, as unexciting as this hand is, I think it's worth keeping. We do have the, the Stromkirk here, uh, which we can play, and the Harbinger and Dollhouse. So we'll see. Very, very curious to see what we are uh, up against. I can't believe that last game. There is no way we had just won that game. Uh, we were getting a turn of stealing their stuff, which was kind of the idea, uh, but there was no way we had just won. Uh, I'm leading on the dual land, by the way, here, because we know we can't play anything turn one and really even turn two, most likely. So we'll probably just continue that trend. Um, Storm Chaser Drake, okay. Uh, that seems like a good target for the, or uh, a good hit for the Path of Peril. Hopefully they just play another creature here. They do. Delver of Secrets, nonetheless. Uh, so a nice little two for one for Path of Peril here. And we don't have to target anything. Um, now, chances are they may have a spell to play here, but we are going to go for it. Just see what they do. Just don't be Test of Talents. Don't be test of talents, please. Don't be test of talents. Uh, fully believe they've got something though. It could be just like a fading hope to to bounce the Drake and draw a card. Um, seems pretty good. Okay, they just countered. Uh, sure. I mean that's annoying, but that's okay. Wow. Charge through. Okay, so they're just gonna draw a bunch. This is a really cool little deck. I like this. Oh, I kind of want to play this. Guys, I like the value here. Uh, that's pretty sick. This is it whenever a spell you control, right? Okay, so that doesn't include our own stuff. That's helpful to know. Hmm. Okay. All this stuff is terrible for us. Um, let's Brutal Cathar. Uh, and I think the right play is just to get the Drake out of there if we can. May not work, but I just think that's the right play. All right, they're gonna hexproof it. Sure. It's really annoying. Um, wow, what a cool little deck. Oh, I really like this. This is a cool one. Sure, yeah, Blizzard brought me. You got it. I need to remember this. Storm Chaser Drake. Delver, Dragon's Guard Elite, and then a bunch of this, like, little draw stuff. That's cool. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, dude. 
Uh, they just have it. That's it. They just have it. Well done, opponent. That was awesome. We're definitely trying that deck at some point. All right, guys, here we are. This is our third game, I believe. Uh, this is a rough start, though. Um, but hear me out. <laughs> We're keeping this. This is not a keep hand by no, no self-respecting player would keep this hand, but I'm me, so <laughs> that's fine. Um, I'm really excited to see how this goes. So here's my thought process. We draw any land, we have the Celestis. Two lands, which we already have, gives us Doomscar and the two white for the Doomscar. So really, we just need one land. Now I know, I said at the beginning of this video, land was the problem. And it is. I was right. But not this time, guys. Clearly not this time. <laughs> We're Celestising first. I uh, kind of want a Doomscar when we know they've got more stuff down. I'm glad that worked out. <laughs> that was really not going to be good if we didn't draw land. <laughs> All right, sweet. Easy, easy kills. Um, we can even take a turn to Faithful Mending if we'd like. Um, oh, I like that too. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need to hit land drops, so I'm going to do this. Cool. Uh, we'll discard you two for now. Play you, and... I'm going to do this. I kind of want to see if they're going to fight some stuff off here. Um, do I want to put something? I'm going to submit zero. I don't want anything on the top of my deck. Oh, wait, I should have. Ooh, that was bad. That flips it at the beginning of the next turn. So that was definitely the bad call, but that's fine. I really don't want a six mana spell anyway, or a seven mana spell, which this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I, that's fine. It'll work out. Not stressing about it. opponent really considering. Maybe they'll just uh, throw some counters on here. Looks like that's going to be the play. That's fine. Kind of was hoping it looks like they've got Snowland, so I'm assuming they've got Blizzard Brawl. So my assumption was that uh, that might be the case, but or that they would try and do something like that. I'm just going to block here. We'll take the four. Uh, decline. Do we want to draw a card and discard a card? Uh, yeah, actually. We can discard the Faithful Mending and then see what we get. Okay, cool. All right, um, well, with that in mind, um, I think the play is to Doom Scar and leave up Faithful Mending. I guess we could have attacked first, that was a bit of a mistake, but that's fine. Or I guess we can just do this. Yeah, I like that play better. Alright, so at the very least we got some stuff off the field. It was a nice little two for one, or two for two really, because we had to kill our own thing, but it's kind of fine. Now this is bad, like super bad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Xanathar. Um, I think like we have to do that. Because that gets way too strong otherwise. They're stuck on mana, which is really important to note here. We're going to draw two and gain two. I think we just do that. Uh, both of these are really good for us, so I'm going to decline. I don't want to put more in the graveyard or risk having to make a decision here with these cards. So uh, we do have enough mana to dollhouse and then immediately use it, uh, which is good. So we just kind of need to fade like a turn. If we can get a free turn off with dollhouse. We'd be set. That's not going to be a free turn, though. Um... Oof, now I kind of wish we had had a land. Um, all right, we're going to try it now. It probably won't go too well, but uh, we're going to try it. I think we go for the slug. 
Not gonna attack. Uh, this just minimizes the amount of damage that can can happen at least by a little bit. Uh, neutering these wolves a little is pretty important for us, so let's just hope they can't fight it off. I'm assuming they probably can, but... Yep. This is scary. It's very scary. Alright. Okay, they're just attacking in. So either they have a removal spell and they're baiting us, or... I mean, we don't risk it, right? We just take the three. Hopefully it's not more than three. Hopefully they don't have anything. Okay. Well, that works. This is gonna kill this one. Now they do have flash on stuff. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, they have flash up on their next creature spell, thanks to Arlen. Um, but crucially, that still is going to die. So that gives us a little 1-1, one, one, which doesn't look like a lot, but we can use it to either draw a card or block, and either one's going to be very useful for us. Um, I think I do take the action. Drop that back. Then we draw a card. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting. Um... All right, well, first things first, we're definitely gonna do this. Let's get Xanathar out. We are not attacking in. They have flash on a wolf. We're not trying to do that, but this crucially powers this up, so that's pretty important. Uh, we will go ahead, I guess, in Brutal Cathar. It's on the Nightbound side, so it's not going to hit anything here. Um, I think we just leave up that. Or we kind of shields up it a little bit here. Maybe that's the better play. That just gives us... Yeah, again, not attacking here. That just gives us options later on. That's nothing too crazy, but it's important, I think. Um, so that's dead. We get another slug. Man, I love Toxril. Toxril? Toxril is sick. Um... Okay, so very smart of them. They did this when they, uh, or after the Tox Roll trigger had already happened, which is exactly the way they should do it. Um, but we still get a black slug from the previous one, so that's helpful. Here's the hoping. <laughs> uh, they have been stuck on mana, which is very helpful for us. We get two Snarling Wolves. Wolves. Um, and they do have Nightbound Arlen, which is terrifying. Uh, but we do have a 3-3 th uh, three, three First Striker, so these don't have a safe attack. Um, now this does have Trample. Um, so that's kind of scary. Wow. So we're going to have to do a little math here. Um... All right, so uh, I think we just throw these here. They do not gain trample. This does have trample, which is bad. Um, hmm. Can do that to save ourselves a little damage. I actually think that's okay. Not sold, though. Um, we need to save ourselves a little, I think, though. That's important to me. This has indestructible, so we couldn't, like, double block and deal with it. Hmm. So we still take two, but we're not dead. Or necessarily super close to dead, either. They haven't had a Blizzard Brawl so far. Why didn't they play that first? Seems like an obvious play, but okay. All right. Get to look at their... Ooh, a Frostbite. Oh, yes, please. Oh, that's very good. Okay, so... 
Uh, let's make sure we're doing this properly. All right, what do we need to kill? I guess is the question. Is it just the Arlen? I think it's the Arlen. There's a Blizzard Brawl as well. That's kind of good. Now, this only deals two damage, but we only need it to deal two. That's pretty important. Um, the opponent has two mana available. All right, Arlen's down. That's helpful. Uh, I am going to go ahead and do this now. I think we just get this. No. I think it's this. It's not a very exciting play, but it is what it is. So the reason we're doing this, we get to Blizzard Brawl a thing. Um, let's put this on top. What that does is just guarantee us a secondary kind of backup plan here. All right, we don't need anything to have indestructible. We're gonna kill this thing off, I think. Then they just have a mountain on top. Do we want to play said mountain? We're using this, by the way, because it's our least likely to matter. This is gonna die. We are being so careful right now. Um, I think we Faithful Mending, allow them the land? That was kind of dumb, I'm realizing, because we didn't need to Faithful Mending. We knew it was on top, and that would have flipped, but okay. All right, so we're going to leave them with the land. They do not have Flash. So I think we can safely attack in. A good chunk of damage nine damage is quite good uh let's end the turn this is gonna deal with another one of these wolves they could have could they have saved it ah doesn't matter all right so now we've got two more slugs if we would like to we can gain a life or d draw a card and discard a card i think we'll decline though what a game this is a really really good game this is only game two isn't it oh my gosh okay there's the Arlen. Whew. They get their wolves. That's fine. I don't care about that. The Toxeril 100% takes care of that problem. And we get another one now. All right, we get to play off the top. Uh, decline. We don't need to reveal that. Um, hmm. Pull you. Uh, I think we can just start playing. Yeah. All right, let's fight you off. Perfect. Gives us another slug. Wow. Okay, well, good news, they can't play that either. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and play the Valkyrie. All right, uh, they can't activate this. This has lifelink. Um, we really don't have to do it this way, but we're going to. I think we just win though, anyway. Like I don't, I don't really think they can win this now. That was a killer game. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that was sick. It's already at 30 minutes. Holy crap! All right. We did it because we're amazing. All right, guys, that was pretty sick. We'll do a final game. We'll do one more and we'll see if we can get another win. All right, guys, here we are. This is definitely going to be our last game. Let's keep this hand. We've got the double revitalize, which is quite nice. Uh, these cards aren't going to be super useful at the moment, but that's OK. That's pretty good. Uh, that's certainly a playable on three, so I'm very happy to see that. All right. <clears throat> Interesting they led with the Faceless Haven. I wonder if that was, uh, like they had to or, you know. Uh, we'll go, I guess, black on this. Um, I'm actually gonna foretell this. Uh, I think that that's the right play. We can't play it yet anyway, which is kind of annoying, but, uh, I think that that's gonna be okay. 
Mending. All right. Uh, we'll definitely play the Mending now. Let's discard you and you. All right. All we're doing is kind of baiting them into a false sense of security so we can just Doom Scar. That's literally all we're trying to do at this point. Right now, it's a nice little three for one. Uh, and I think, oh. Plus three mana, that's the only trick. Um, I think the safe play is still just Doom Scar. Yeah, let's go ahead and get everything out of here. All of those cards are very problematic, uh, so let's just get them out of there. They've got another orator, orator, whatever, that's fine. If they've got another two mana spell, they don't. I was gonna say, we would definitely Path of Peril there, I think. Um, let's look at the battlefield. We'll go for double blue. I don't really think we need it, but uh, that's fine. Let's, I guess let's revitalize first. <laughs> Another Doom Scar. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep playing safe here. If we just run them down, I, I mean, there's going to be very little they can do. It looks like a pretty basic, straightforward life gain deck. I will say the faith or the yeah, the faceless Haven is going to be slightly annoying, but that's kind of fine. So this turn, we can actually just path of peril and get rid of all this, uh, which is quite good because um, that just still allows us to double up on some stuff. Um, Play it for the white. Let's go ahead and Path of Peril. Get everything out of there. And we'll just go ahead and play this. Uh, and yes, we will do this. We'll put the Burning Rune Demon on top. That's a very easy way to get this to flip. Uh, and Bur Burning Rune Demon is obviously just good on its own, so. We've got an Angel of Vitality. It's all fine. We'll reveal. Uh, yeah. I think we just play it. Seems easy enough. Uh, let's do this. What do we want? All of it. <laughs> uh, let's take you. I think we'll take you. Yeah, that seems fine. Both of those are great cards, so... All too happy to take those. Uh, worth noting... Ooh, they gave us the Xanathar. Um, we don't really have a great attack here. I guess we just pass. They might have a Doom Scar. I don't know what this foretold card is. But they don't have a good attack either, so that's kind of important to note. Uh, ooh. We can kill most of their board with just this. Um, yeah, I think we just do that. Let's kill their board, aside from the angel, um, which is relevant, but not the end of the world. Um, let's get an attack in here, because one thing we do anticipate them having is a Righteous Valkyrie. We also just get a little combo here, but Angel of Vitality, oh, perfect. There we go. We're amazing. We killed it. All right, guys. So uh, Esper Reanimator with Dollhouse at the helm turned out to be pretty good. Um, I'll be honest, I practiced with this list just a few times before jumping into the video. I try to do that almost every time and it didn't really perform as well as I was hoping, uh, but obviously here it did really, really well. I'm very happy with this deck. And again, thank you so much to the creator for putting this over on Aether Hub. I really do appreciate it. This is awesome. I love it. Fantastic. Absolutely love reanimator strategies. As you guys well know, we played one last week. It was Jund. Uh, but I kind of I kind of dig the Esper. It's a little less consistent on the reanimation end, but it's also more powerful on like sweepers and things. So uh, I think it was a good, good solid deck. So hope you guys try this one out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning, make sure you're subscribed. If you are not already, it really does mean a lot to us and you are entered to win for a free Kamigawa draft booster box. Uh, which is pretty sick. So thank you guys again. I really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you again very soon.